so my dear students good morning in the previous class we were trying to learn how to subtract a two digit number a three digit number and how to subtract a three digit two digit number from a three digit number so on so in this class now let us see if a problem is described how do we find a numbers out of it and how do we find out the operations from it and how do we do this operation okay so when i call the word operation always remember that addition and subtraction is always called as a mathematical operation so let us see and in the textbook we have page number 55 we have been given a topic called word problems so let us try to understand how do we find out the numerical aspects as well as the operation out of this word problem so for that i will read the first questions for you let us listen to it there were 695 mangoes in an orchard so orchard means what it is a garden big garden okay that is full of mango trees so there were 695 mango trees in an orchard and 325 sorry not mango trees mangoes and 324 mangoes were plucked and how many mangoes are left in the orchard so there were how many mangoes in the orchard so how many mangoes total there were total 695 mangoes were there in the orchard so how many were plucked so how many mangoes plucked so how many mangoes were plucked they plucked 324 okay so now our question is how many is left so the question comes the word you have to remember the question word is how many is left that means balance so in order to find out what balance we have to use the operation subtraction so the balance or the uh, balance mangoes in the orchard is equal to which operation we have to use we have to subtract the mangoes that is plucked from the orchard from the total mangoes so what we will get here if you minus 4 minus 5 you get 1 then you subtract 2 from 9 you get 7 when you subtract 3 from 6 you get 3 so you see you got 371 mangoes left in the garden so once again you remember there were initially 695 mangoes in the garden and somebody came and plucked how many 324 mangoes from it so now the question is how many mangoes are left in the garden so to find out the balance mangoes in the garden what you have to use to subtract you have to use the operation subtraction so now let us see you have to subtract the plucked mangoes from the total mangoes so you get 371 this is the balanced mangoes in the orchard so let us see another example from the question so let us see so if you look the second question i will read out for you in a group of 337 students 188 students went for a picnic so in there was a school in that school how many students were there there were total total how many students total students sorry total students is equal to 300 37 okay there were how many students in the school there were 337 how many went for picnic so how many went for picnic 188 so now our question is how many did not go so how many stayed back how many did not go so how many balanced students that did not go for so how many students did not go students did not go so 
did not go is equal to how much how we find which operation the balance students no so balance students means which operation we have to subtract so we have to subtract 188 from 337 so how do we do it you see here the problem is 8 is bigger than 7 you cannot subtract a bigger number from a smaller number so which operation we do we solve the borrowing so we borrow one from here so this is which position this is ones tens hundred so you see we borrow one from here so one ten plus seven ones is equal to 17 so here it becomes 17 when 3 tens minus 1 tens is equal to what 2 2 tens so here it becomes 2 so now you subtract it is become 17 so 8 minus 17 is 9 so again 8 is bigger than 2 so what we have to do this is 100 no so this is 80 8 8 tenths is bigger than 2 tenths so what we have to do we have to give one from so 100 is plus 2 tenths equal to 120 so that means it is bigger than 8 so now we have what here again 3 is 300 is subtracted from 110 so we get 200 okay so here it is 2 so what happens here becomes 1 so 12 12 tens means 12 tens is equal to 120 okay so now you see subtract 8 from 4 12 it is 4 so there are 200 and 100 in down so 149 so this is how we do it is that clear for you my dear students how do we do it so this is how we find out the word problems and their operations so let us do some examples thank you students